What's going on YouTube? Geosnow right here. So in today's video I have some important updates for the Taurine Jailbreak. So as you probably know the Taurine Jailbreak has been released and it's a good alternative to the uncovered Jailbreak. But like any other Jailbreak that has just been released it had some issues and the Odyssey team have released the Taurine version 1.0.2. They posted quote Taurine 1.0.2 is now available with higher JetSAM limits, fixes for battery drain on 1.0.1 and redesigned user space reboot screens. So this update was actually weighted by a lot of people because many of you said that the Torin jailbreak is actually fine and it works well but it drains your battery a lot or you get a lot of jet sam crashes. So this should actually fix a lot of those issues. So if you want to switch from uncovered to the Torin, now it's basically a better time because of those fixes. But if you're already on Torin jailbreak and you experience those issues it's probably a good thing to update right now to 1.0.2 in order to fix all of them. So as you probably know this jailbreak supports exactly what Uncovered supports at the moment which means that iOS 14.3, 14.2, 14.1, 14.0.1 .1, 14 and 14.0 are all supported. However 14.4, 14.4.1 and 14.2 are not supported so exactly like Uncovered it's basically an Uncover alternative but this one comes with Cilio instead of Cydia and of course it comes with the Procursus bootstrap which is completely open source. So if you want to get it you can get it as an IPA file of course this is not a fully untethered jailbreak it's just like uncover a semi untethered jailbreak that comes in the IPA format and you have to sign it yourself so in order to sign it you can use the alt store which is the recommended method as well you can even add the alt store repo but for me it doesn't really work that way for some reason my device doesn't get detected so I use iOS gods side loadly and this one is actually like CD impactor only better and it's available for both Windows and Mac OS so once you get it with this you double press on the IPA it loads almost instantly and it shows like this and if you have the device connected and you've signed before you have all the details for your account already in place so all you have to do is press start here and that's basically it. I'm gonna wait for it to be signed and that's really all it takes but in this case this device is not supported because it has 13.4.1 instead of 14. But you got the point. Signing with Side Loadly is actually quite easy but if you already use for example the Alt Store it should work pretty fine. Just get the latest IPA file from here and use Alt Store or Side Loadly to get the 1.0.2. This is actually a pretty important update because those JetSAM errors tend to be caused by applications that use a lot of memory and so on and usually when an application uses a lot of memory that shouldn't use a lot of memory it's usually a bug or something like this so I'm glad they have fixed that because Uncover is also plagued with a lot of those JetSAM errors so it's nice to see that they try to address it. Now for the battery drain that's usually caused by a lot of things it can be caused by programs running in the background it can be caused by memory leaks as well because a lot more memory gets used probably a lot more CPU cycles so in this case it's good that they fixed the battery drain because many many people had a complaint with that. So as of 1.0.2 the Torin jailbreak should definitely be great. The previous version that they had also fixed an important bug. So the 1.0.1 here fixed a sandbox issue with certain processes and fixed zombie processes on subsequent user space reboot. So between 1.0.1 and 1.0.2 which are now available the Torin jailbreak has already received a lot of important updates. So I'm gonna go right on the device and show you how it looks like. So once you install it you may have to re-verify it here on settings, general, profiles and device management, you press on your Apple account and you press trust again and you should be able to open it with no problem and that's the Torin jailbreak. Now if you're moving from uncover for example, right now I'm jailbroken with uncover, you can see the Cydia and substitute in there. If you want to move from there you just have to toggle the restore root of S first. Now that's how it looks like, as I said it comes with Cilio, it's a good jailbreak so definitely check it out. Especially Especially the 1.0.2 because it does fix a lot of things and compared to the uncover which has Cydia which looks like this and loads pretty slowly for me at least, Torin does have Cilio which is much faster and is definitely much more modern for 2021. So I think it's a good idea to give it a try especially now with those updates that should essentially make the jailbreak better and you should have less battery drain and of course you should have indeed less jetsam errors. So yeah, thank you for watching, I am GSNow, till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.